Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemming Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to display PDFs in your projects. So already in the simulator I have an example of what we'll be creating today. We have a simple, simple app here. It has a PDF loaded within a web view. And you can scroll up and down as you notice in the top left corner of the screen there you can see one of two and then as you scroll down to the second page it says page of two now you can pinch to zoom in and zoom all the way out to see them clearly so I'll be showing you how to create this today so already I have my project set up it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it PDF tutorial for the purpose of this tutorial so what we need to do first thing is we're going to add the web view within our um, XIB. So if you just click on the view XIB and then just look for our web view, drag that in. So if it's full screen. Now if you notice at the top here we can split the views here and have our view controller.h shown. So just after the UI view controller press space and bracket and then right click or control click on our web view and drag it to our outlet and then we're going to give our outlet a name of simply web view and then press connect once you've done that we can simply go back to our single view and then as you already see it's created in our web uh, in our dot h sorry so in our dot n in our view did load section we're going to start by typing ns string space asterisk path space equals space bracket bracket ns bundle space main bundle and after the first bracket there we do space path for resource and then we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and in the path for resource here will be the name of our PDF file which we'll just import in a second and type of we do at symbol again quotation mark quotation mark and the type of the file is PDF and after that quotation mark we do bracket in a semicolon so now we'll just import our PDF file, which I have here. So simply drag and drop into your project. Make sure you copy it to items into a um, destinations group folder. Sorry. Press finish. And in the path of resource, two semicolons here. I mean, um, two quotation marks. Sorry. You do the name of it, which it's simply named PDF file. And then we do, after that line there, we do that enter and we do nsurl space asterisk url space equals space bracket nsurl space file url with path. And then we do type in path in the highlighted section. And after that, we do bracket semicolon, press enter. And now we do nsurl request space asterisk request simply name yeah simply name request sorry space equals space bracket nsurl request again and space request with URL. And in the highlight section, we do URL to link up our NS URL. And that in a bracket in a semicolon and press enter. And now we're going to link up the request of our NS URL into our web view just to link them all together. So we do bracket the name of our web view, which was web view space load request. And to link up our NS URL request, we simply type in the name of it, which we named it request. 
and then we have bracket and a semicolon and press enter and then we do again bracket web view and we're going to set the page to fit so basically when the PDF loads into our web view it's not all totally zoomed in it's like in the simulator it's of the whole view so basically it fits the page kind of thing so we do set scales to skip set scales page to fit and then we do yes there we can simply save that you can do you can don't have to type that line there you can simply go into the interface builder and select page fit scaled but once we've done that we can go straight to build and run and as soon as it loads up in our simulator here we have got our document here our PDF and it's automatically able to pinch to zoom in and top left there displays the page you're on so that's simply how you create an ad and display PDFs in your projects. So I hope this tutorial helps in any of your projects or apps at the moment. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you go check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.